आइडियल नॉन इन्वर्टिंग ऑफ एम For this circuit, we have an op amp. Since this is non-inverting op amp, input is applied at non-inverting terminal. Input is V I, and resistance R one is connected to the inverting terminal, and this end is grounded. feedback resistance is connected between output and inverting terminal of op amp and this r2 is feedback resistance which is providing the negative feedback to make the uh, closed loop voltage gain of this op amp finite this op amp is ideal and we have to find out the closed loop voltage gain for this non inverting op amp so let's start uh voltage at non inverting terminal is vp denoted by vp and voltage at inverting terminal is denoted by vn current going into the uh non inverting terminal of ideal op amp is zero same in is also zero current going into the inverting terminal of ideal op amp is zero now we can see that uh, this non inverting terminal is connected to the input voltage so this vp is vi input voltage now by virtual short condition uh, which is vn equal to vp or voltage at non inverting voltage at inverting terminal is equal to voltage at non inverting terminal and vp is vi so vn is also vi now we will apply the kcl at inverting terminal with voltage vn uh, current going towards ground through resistance r1 is vn minus 0 over r1 and current going towards the output through r2 is vn minus v0 over r2 and in current is zero so this equation is equal to zero now vn voltage at inverting terminal is vi so the equation is vi over r1 plus vi minus v0 over r2 equal to zero or vi into 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 equal to v0 over r2 or v0 over r2 is vi into r1 r2 in denominator in numerator r1 plus r2 and these two r2s are cancelled out so v0 over vi is denoted by av closed loop voltage gain and it is r1 over r1 that is 1 plus r2 over r1 this is the closed loop voltage gain of uh, non ideal operational amplifier and this closed loop voltage gain is positive because it is the uh, it is the gain of non inverting operational amplifier and uh, the positive closed loop voltage gain indicates that the output voltage is in phase in uh, output voltage is in phase with input voltage now let's find out the input resistance r in and this r in is defined by vi over input current i i the input current is this this current is input current current coming from the source now from the circuit we can see that this uh, input current i i is equal to ip and this ip current current going into the non inverting terminal of op amp is already zero so ii I is zero so r in is vi over zero and 1 over zero is infinite so the input resistance of non inverting operational amplifier is infinite so uh, this non inverting 
op, op amp is already a voltage amplifier and uh, the desired value of input resistance in voltage amplifier is very high and uh, we already have the very high input resistance. Um, uh, so there is no such problem of uh, low input uh, resistance uh, like uh, it occurs in uh, inverting op amp. Now we will find out the output resistance. Output resistance R0 denoted by R0 and output resistance for uh, this non-inverting uh, op amp is uh, again zero and its derivation is uh, uh, same as the derivation uh, of uh, output resistance in case of inverting op amp. So I am not uh, redoing it here because we already did in the uh, previous uh, lecture of ideal inverting op amp. So output resistance of this uh, non-inverting op amp is zero. Now in this circuit suppose I make I make the value of R2 0. If I make value of R2 0 then what will happen? If this R2 is 0 then the closed loop voltage gain is 1 plus 0 or simply 1. So uh, we can say V0 over VI is 1 or V0 is VI. Output voltage is equal to input voltage. Uh, so we can say that uh, output voltage is following the input voltage. So by making the value of R2 0, this circuit becomes voltage follower circuit. Let me uh, redraw the circuit. We are simply making the value of R2 0. Non-inverting terminal is connected to the input voltage and uh, yes, R1 is still there and R2 is, R2 is 0. This is R1. So this circuit is basically voltage follower circuit. Here output voltage is equal to input voltage. But still this is not the standard circuit that we use quite often. So in, in, in the standard voltage follower circuit, what we do, we make the value of R1 infinite. So simply remove this resistance R1. So now th this circuit becomes the standard voltage follower circuit. Okay. Now let's take an example of uh, non-inverting op amp. So this is the non-inverting op amp with the with the value of uh, R1 2 kilo ohm and R2 is 10 kilo ohm. And uh, if input voltage is 1 volt, we have to find out the value of output voltage. This op amp is ideal. And uh, here the saturation levels of op amp are also given. And uh, uh, saturation voltages are plus 10 volt and minus 10 volt. So to find the output voltage, we know that the closed loop voltage gain of this non-inverting op amp is 1 plus R2 over R1 and the value of R2 is 10, value of R1 is 2, so 10 by 2 is 5, so closed loop voltage gain is 6. So V0 is uh, 6, 6 VI. Now here VI, value of VI is 1 volt, so output voltage is 6 into 1 volt, so it is 6 volt. And this output 6 volt is within the um, within the range of uh, these within the saturation levels of this op amp. So the op amp is operating in in the linear region, and the output voltage is 6 volt. Now, if we increase the value of input voltage, 
suppose let's make the input voltage 3 volt then then what will be the output voltage and uh, for this circuit we know that v0 is 6 vi and vi is 3 volt so output voltage is plus 18 volt but the saturation level upper saturation voltage is 10 volt and the output voltage cannot go beyond the saturation voltages it means here op amp is saturated output voltage cannot go above the uh, upper saturation level that is 10 volt so now output voltage is plus 10 volt if input voltage if you make the value of input voltage 3 volt then output voltage will be plus 10 volt and uh, since this op amp is uh, saturated if we apply 3 volt as input then we cannot apply the virtual short condition so what should be the value of voltage at inverting terminal okay so to find the value of uh, uh, vn we need to apply kcl at vn here vn is not simply vi because the op amp is saturated so applying kcl vn minus 0 over r1 plus vn minus v0 over r2 uh, vn minus v0 and v0 is 10 volt over r2 r2 is 10 so vn into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 10 equal to 10 by 10 10 by 10 is 1 so vn this is uh, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 10 it is uh, 5 plus 1 equal to 1 so vn is basically 10 by 6 or 5 by 3 volt it is not since op amp is saturated vn is not equal to vi uh, the actual value of vn after uh, op amp is saturated the value of voltage at inverting terminal is 5 by 3 so that's how we analyze the um, ideal non-inverting operational amplifier